When adding cross braces to a structure to keep it from racking, the most important lashing is the diagonal lashing. It gets its name from the fact the wrapping turns cross the poles diagonally. The diagonal lashing is used when there is need to close a gap between two poles where they cross each other, but do not touch. It's most frequently applied when making a trestle. To begin what can be referred to as the traditional diagonal lashing, tie a timber hitch around both poles where they cross. Pull the timber hitch tight to spring the poles together and make three or four wrapping turns on the opposite diagonal. Keep the wraps parallel to one another and pull them tight. Tie the second set of wrapping turns on the same diagonal where you tied the timber hitch, pulling them tight across the first set of wrapping turns, again keeping them parallel and making sure they don't overlap one another. Take two or three frapping turns between the poles tightly around both sets of wraps. Complete the lashing with a clove hitch around one of the poles. Work the first half hitch tight against the lashing and the second half hitch tight against the first. Once again, here are the basic steps. Start with a timber hitch around both poles. Take the first set of wrappings around the opposite diagonal. Take your second set of wrappings tightly across the first. Apply tight wrapping turns between the poles and finish with a clove hitch, locking it tight against the lashing. X braces are used frequently to add necessary stability to pioneering structures, and at the center of each is a lashing that springs the poles together, like the diagonal lashing.